Now that we've installed a template, now we're going to start administering the machine. In this lesson, we'll describe the purpose of a dial plan and how to administer it. What is a dial plan? The dial plan tells the system how to interpret dial digits. In this example, when a user dials the 1, it looks at the dial plan analysis table and sees that the first digit of 1 is used for an extension. If the user had dialed the star or asterisk, the system would then look into the dial plan analysis table and see that that is going to be used for a feature access code. All right, so let's add the 4,000 series in the dial plans. That will give us the availability of extension 4,000 to extension 499. And the command would be change dial analysis. Again, one of the things I like about CM is you do not have to type the complete word out. It really helps for people who can't type or spell like myself. So we'll tab down to a vacant line, and we'll just put in a 4, extension length of 4, and again it's a type EXT. And we will submit, or enter right here, and we'll go back and do a display of that analysis table, and you'll see that dial string of 4 with a length of 4 as an EXT has been added. A dial plan consists of three elements. First, the dial string. That is what the user dialed. The first digit, in this example, if they dialed a 4, you then look at the total number of digits or total length. That's the number of digits dialed, including the dialed string. So if you dial a 4, it's going to look for a 4-digit, and you'll see the call type is EXT for extension. So in this case, it's looking for a 4-digit extension number. Other example on this form, you'll see down there with the pound or hash symbol, 3 digits, with FAC. That is a feature access code. So there will be some features using these codes, also the asterisk, three digits, also a feature access code. One of the first things we'll talk about on the terminology is a DAC or a dial access code. This is a multi-purpose code. It could be used for a feature access code, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Very important in that in the Avaya Communications Manager in order to add trunks, which is used to access outside of your system, such as outbound dialing or even tie lines, you must have a code that could be used for each individual trunk group. In order to administer the trunk groups, you must have a DAC in your dial plan. In this example, the DAC starts with 7, is 3 digits in length. So say I have a set of connectivities to a central office. When I created that group of trunks, I would give that a DAC, or a trunk access code, of, we'll say, 701. Right here, we're going to talk about a feature access code. This is a code that allows users to activate or deactivate a feature. The feature access code number is assigned to a feature on a form called the feature access codes. For example, based on the dial plan and based on the feature access code form, you can access a feature such as last number dialed. You would assign, in this case, star 31 to activate the feature, pound 31 to deactivate the feature, and you would give that information to the user so they could activate and deactivate this feature. 
extensions, just what it says, extension numbers. If I want to have a certain range of extensions starting with certain digit or digits, I put it in my dial plan, I give it the length of digits I want the extension number to be, and then I give it a call type of EXT. In summary, to view an existing dial plan, you can do the command display dial plan analysis. Also with parameters, you would do display dial plan parameters. To create a new one, or even to change it, since it's this is already existing in the system, the command you would do is change dial plan, either analysis or parameters.